guys happy new year's eve so i'm filming this on december 31st 2020 a goodbye hello 21 very excited and today i have a dollar tree haul for you yes i do long overdue my friends and i do apologize so i'm probably gonna have to split this up into two maybe three parts I just don't want it to be too long for you guys and in no particular order and if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on this video I appreciate everybody that's here my original subscribers all of my new friends here and the shout outs I've gotten from several different people who I've mentioned in past videos Thank you so much, and we are well on our way to 500. We just hit our 300 subscriber give giveaway and milestone. So, I don't know why, but <clears throat> I get tongue-tied when I do these videos, so bear with me. I meant to bring over my water to let you know I'm starting a water challenge for uh, 21 so if you would like to join in on that with me maybe we could work out how to tag one another something like that but I am definitely here to support you and would appreciate the same and if you don't have a channel and you're just on the fence but you love everything about the Dollar Tree please go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free of charge ring the bell for notifications you choose you don't have to be notified unless you want to <clears throat> excuse me and give me or give the video a thumbs up to help the channel continue to grow and I would greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart because I've done a lot of work and learning how to edit and all that stuff but usually my hauls are not edited so just to let you know that so let's dive in I have a lot full of stuff and I am dying to share with each and every one of you so no particular order whatsoever not even when I picked it up I will tell you this was just the other day this is the eight piece heart notepads I pointed them out in my walkthrough but um, both of them have the truck on it and it says hugs and kisses XO Express I don't want to hold it too close because it casts a shadow but are those not adorable I absolutely love them I will get used out of these even if even if I just take this part off and use it in a DIY I've done something with it I apologize for my nails too sorry I don't get into all that foo-foo. My hair being done is thanks to my hairdresser, and thank you so much, my friend, because I feel like a person again. And then in the ribbon section, you guys, I picked up nine feet of farmhouse. It says it, farmhouse. <laughs> so you know it's farmhouse if it says so. <laughs> ribbon, nine feet and it is just the gray and white it's very simple and that's what i said in the video when i first saw it but i absolutely love it and the more videos i watch the more i see that they use this neutral tone it is so beautiful and after a year of searching you guys i finally ran across again nine feet it is not wired so usually you can tell by the packaging but it is the farmhouse animals. So, wait a minute. I think, there we go. I think if I'm seeing it right, then you are. But let's do it both ways, just in case. Because, again, it's been a long time since I sat down and did this with you guys. So, thank you for your patience. Don't forget to check out the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos that I do post on a very regular basis because those are the videos that you are going to see what is absolutely brand new. You're, you're seeing it the same day or the day after that I saw it because it does take time to edit those and get those up for you. But you're seeing them within 24 hours. I promise that. Also, at the Dollar Tree picked up some liquid skin I am a well I was a hairstylist I am no longer 
doing that actively but this is only a net weight of a half of 0.5 grams that's what it says total weight so it's just small but perfect for your first aid kit this basically works like super glue if you accidentally cut your knuckle you put some of this on and it's like you grew a layer of skin back I highly recommend this again it's called liquid skin it's for minor cuts cracks and abrasions and if I seem like I'm going too fast I apologize I'm from the South and I live in Virginia, so I probably should have said all of this at the beginning, but um, I live in a city that borders two states, so my city is actually in both Virginia and Tennessee. I live on the Virginia side, so a little insight, and for those of you who know me, you know exactly where I'm talking about, so not trying to hide anything here. But um, yeah, so that's where I'm located. And to all of my friends here, it, it does help you see what is new. So, cause I love going in and I just, I mean, they may <clears throat> make crafting so, so affordable, you know, because I couldn't afford to go to Hobby Lobby before on a regular basis. I'll be quite honest with you, I could not. But because of the Dollar Tree having things like this, and by the way, this is the heart wreath form, and it does not say how many inches it is, but you get an idea there. It has made it very affordable for me to be able to craft and to use your imagination. So, so many talented people here on YouTube. But thank you Dollar Tree for making it affordable for people even like myself that otherwise could not afford to do it. So, did want to say that. <laughs> and thank each and every one of you for subscribing. I appreciate you guys so much. And then Valentine's Day has officially arrived, my friend, at the Dollar Tree. Yes, it has. These, I think think are repeats from last year but again I wasn't in tune um, I was having a bit of car trouble at the time so I don't recall going at Valentine's Day but I love this it says follow your heart and I love banner and it is the camper with the hitch how cute is that that is so sweet and if you I know I know it's not even January 1st and it's out already, but if you don't get it when it's out, it's going to be gone. Like I literally went back and I, there wasn't even half of what I showed you in my walkthrough and I just went yesterday. So heads up. Okay. So if you live close by, so the handmade cards, they have these every season, almost every season. And you get the envelope inside. It's just a red envelope. I'm not a huge red fan, but it says, You fill my heart. And it's a mason jar with all of these hearts inside. And they do shake. On the video, I shook it to see if they did. And they do. They do move around. So I absolutely love this card. I will DIY this to be quite honest with you. Most everything I pick up at the Dollar Tree is with intentions of crafting, whether it be now or when it starts to get even colder because it is cold here in Virginia. So a high in the 40s or 30s is a blessing for us when it gets down to zero and even 18. So let me quit talking and show you the truck that goes right along with that camper. How stinking cute is that? You could adhere it together with wood glue. <clears throat> There's so many options, you guys, and so many YouTube uh, videos available to you on how to DIY these. You could absolutely cut out the hearts sand this down or dampen it with a wet cloth, take this off and do your own version. But if you wait, they will have these in blank canvases. 
Um, some of you have hauled them already. My friend, my sister, um, Mommy and Kimberly's Adventure. I love her. Shout out to you, girl. If you have not checked out her page, you certainly should. She hauls from many different places, not just the Dollar Tree. So definitely let her know that I sent you. So love you and prayers to you, my friend. But um, yeah, she showed some of the uh, DIY. DIY ones and that were blank canvases and I am so thrilled to get those. Those are my absolute favorites. Okay guys and I picked up multiple trucks and campers and heart wreath forms so I won't bore you with all that keeping my eye on the clock but some good old window clings because they're cute just to be decorative but also they're very cute to DIY with and check that out like it has a little um, it's 16 piece set as you see there but it says will you be my Valentine bringing the love with the bicycle oh my gosh or that or or the truck I just absolutely love everything on here I'm not a big fan of this but that is a okay everything else on here is absolute perfection if you agree, comment below that Dollar Tree has raised the bar for 21. I mean, they set it high in 2020, so they are going to have to outdo themselves in 21. I'm just saying. Or I hope. <laughs> they don't have to do anything, but I definitely do hope. Then, a plastic or reusable tote because I go to the Dollar Tree at least once a week, if not twice, and I go to several different ones, and, and that's not always, and this is a collective haul, so this is not a one-time purchase. I don't want you guys to think that either, so, but um, just things that I've collected, but that is the side, and that gives you an idea of how big it is. I'll go ahead and undo it for you because I want to start using it. They had so many cute ones. It's it's not like the ones you get from Target or Marshalls. I mean, I could see it tearing, but to keep maybe just your crafting supplies for Valentine's Day. That may be what I do with it. But I just loved how it had the little clothespins with the wording be mine xoxo the little heart that has the this one i love that one that's one of my favorites so it's not a huge bag but nevertheless on with the haul <laughs> okay and then i <clears throat> sitting on an end cap i will tell you always check the end caps People lay things down they decide they don't want in the most random places. Yes. So always, always look. Things fall back behind the shelves. And they tend to put the really good stuff in the back. <laughs> so always check there. Always check there. But check out, I love the tag style. We do see it year round from the Dollar Tree. They do this. 4th of July we saw it at Christmas but this one says happy Valentine's Day as a bicycle on it and again the only one I could find but I liked it so much it has a little burlap ribbon on there that I did in the twine to hang it on so it's perfection already but I did pick up three in case I wanted to DIY one okay and because I did not pick up one of these last year, it's quite large. If you see the Let It Snow over here in the corner, that is the size it actually is. But um, the love sign. So there we go. I think it's in full view of the camera. There we go. <laughs> it's pretty big. So that goes to show you. And then if you want to DIY it, you can. It's blank on the back. But I love the burlap part. Again, I don't know if they had this one last year. If they did, I totally missed it. So I had to have this one when I saw it. The galvanized one, I wasn't really as drawn to as this one. 
And then, guys, we are almost done with part one of my massive Dollar Tree haul. So, I did pick up these. <clears throat> and these, I'm still seeing around. So, it is not too late. But this one says, coffee, the other vitamin C. How cute is that for a coffee bar? These make great gifts. Also, great to DIY. It is literally a shadow box. And you can take acetone and get those letters right off if you want it to. Picked up two of those. And last but not least, my friends, <clears throat> my aunt was on the hunt for this for me for Christmas. So she did pick me up this one for Christmas. A Christmas present, I should say. And thank you so much, sweetie. I definitely appreciate you. You know that. I love you so much. But it says Farmer's Market, and it has the cow on it. And I will go ahead and open this one for you, too. Because, again, I've missed you guys. <laughs> and I want you to see, because, again, when we show it on camera, sometimes it looks bigger than it actually is. It's not huge, so you can kind of see there. But it's big enough to put some fresh veggies down into um, you know, I wouldn't load it down with cans because I don't think the seams would hold great. And it's, you know, got a pretty good size strap on it too. So even if you want it to make these into pillows, but I love it as a bag. And that is exactly how I will keep it as a bag. But that is it for today's haul. And you will see another one coming up very, very soon. And I am sorry. And one of my New Year's resolutions is to sit down and do these hauls as they come in and not let them pile up. And that is something I learned from Nona Grace's channel. And I absolutely adore her. Check her out as well. I'll try to remember to link everyone that I mentioned so it's easier for you to find their page. So thank you so much again for watching. Happy New Year and happy 2020. I hope it's a blessed one, guys. So praying for you and would appreciate the same. Again, don't forget to, blah, I can never say it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring the bell for notifications. And I would appreciate a big thumbs up to let me know that you like the video. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.